Hi everyone, welcome to the Dahlia Society and welcome to May's amazing brand new patterns. More things to tempt you with, just like you need it. I know every time I bring one of these videos out, everyone's like, I didn't need more patterns, but you know what? Shiny and new sometimes can be the best medicine for losing the sojo. So I hope there's something to interest you in this list that I have. Before I get started, as usual, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you know what to do. Uh, to never miss out on an episode, I suggest tapping that notification bell. And also, before I get started, I must tell you what I'm wearing because, as I always do, I forget. Uh, this is the I Am Patterns I Am Zebra top. The I Am Patterns Zebra comes in a bundle pack if you're interested. There's an I Am Zebra, I Am Lion. I've got that double pack. The thing I like best about it is it's kind of an elevated sweatshirt. So if you love that cozy, comfortable, warm feeling of a sweatshirt, but you want to take it up a notch and maybe have something a bit dressier, these beautiful bishop sleeves are absolutely gorgeous. And some little statement buttons just to dress a pair of jeans up. And the I Am Lion, of course, has the beautiful puff sleeve. So I highly recommend that pattern, especially in the bundle. So let's talk new release patterns. Now, the newest, latest release is actually an add-on to the Forget Me Not Patterns Lola dress that I actually made for a recent Friday Sews episode. And you get that beautiful little fluted, ruffled uh, extension onto the sleeve. If you're wanting to maybe make the Lola up, but you don't like that sleeveless look and you, or you want to make another one and have it maybe in a blouse, that little bit of an extension adds a beautiful, little extra bit of detail on there. beautiful back pleat I think is absolutely stunning on really unique style brief reminder of a couple of other patterns that I've also spoken about that's the Dorada Davies olive skirt which is absolutely beautiful mermaid tail style skirt and also the pattern emporium tank dress now I have included both of those in recent Friday shows episodes that I will link if you want to go back and revisit those as well now the exciting new patterns released I think you'll all agree that the beautiful deer and doe dresses that were released just uh, this last week are absolutely stunning the first dress is a stunning dress it's a beautiful long a-line dress with a gorgeous square neck and a beautiful ruffle tee detail I'm not going to pretend that I can speak French as you know I'm as Aussie as they come so trying to put an accent on isn't really going to come across but I think it's cockily cot the dress but I probably said it way wrong but anyway you get the gist I'll put the name of it here it is absolutely stunning deer and doe come from sizes 34 to 52 this dress is an absolute standout for any of you in the northern hemisphere that are looking to do some beautiful garden parties maybe there's some weddings where we're all allowed to socialize again I'm sure that you've all got some beautiful things planned to do the other dress is the orchidee dress now the orchidee dress is the same size as 34 to 52 it's a beautiful v-neck and it has they've stated bridal style buttons down the front and that could be a really good challenging project if you want to get uh, tack something a bit more uh, to get your teeth into self-covered little bridal style buttons they're a little bit more finicky but beautiful styling to put into a really special dress but I love these dresses I think they're both uh, really unique and beautiful and the orchidee dress can also be made in a blouse so maybe think about making the blouse as well if you're interested to see how it looks I think it's a stunner the next pattern from Sew House 7 is a gorgeous sweater style pattern it's the cosmos top now the cosmos top comes with two different variations of necklines one is just a rounded neckline the other one is like a funnel style neckline beautiful easy style looking sweater that I'm definitely going to make and I've just finished downloading mine so I've just purchased one of these sweaters because I know it'll be a fantastic one to wear. So how seven patterns come from sizes 00 to 20 and 18 to 34. And another bonus for a free pattern, you can actually download the beautiful skirt. The elemental skirt is a tube style skirt in a beautiful stretch fabric with a little bit of ease in just the right spots. So if you subscribe to Sew House 7's newsletter, you will get that pattern free to download and make for yourself. So I think the two look superb together. 
they are giving me a beautiful kind of 80s vibes i know that i had a set like this back in the 80s i'm sure the sweater had massive shoulder pads um, but that kind of style skirt i'm positive i wore with a kind of a fishnet tight and a pixie boot if you guys can remember pixie boots back in the 80s they were little suede style scrunchy boots uh, that we wore quite flat and we wore them with our tube style skirts and our sweaters sometimes we even wore the roll of the long pearls knotted up so that's going way back uh, but definitely can see the kind of themes coming back with the 80s kind of styling coming back into some patterns which is not always a bad thing not everything in the 80s was horrendously garish and uh, yeah overstated some of those fun things from the 80s are coming back and I love the look of the bat wing jumpers everyone's wearing at the moment too I'm just waiting for them to bring back uh, the bubble gummer jeans if you remember those uh, ribbed style jeans and I'm positive they're going to come back because I've just seen the first pair of baggies in uh, a shop recently and they are going way back to the mid 80s those pleated style baggies but you wait they will come back in I can guarantee you whether I'll be wearing them will be another thing but I'll never say never the next is a wonderful looking raincoat from Amy Nicole Studios and it's the Whitney raincoat and I think this is a really really pretty little easy wear raincoat you can never have enough of these to keep in the back boot of the car especially uh, the great thing about this pattern is she's done it in the petite version for those of you that always look for a petite style pattern the size range from the Whitney is 0 to 32 so she has stated if you are a bit taller than average you will need to lengthen that because it's specifically made for petite people another collection that's been released and I love I am patterns I think they are just fantastic especially when you see the, the inspiration behind the collections and the newest uh, I am a princess collection when you read on their website about all the patterns and what inspiration they've taken from each princess I think is amazing each princess she's taken inspiration from and used it in the styling so the first one is the princess Shahara Zaid and I think that's how it's pronounced it's a beautiful v-neck style dress or tunic with oblique seams and you can use different color fabric for the bottom and the top and that's a really gorgeous looking top especially when they've started with the different prints and uh, planes together I love that the next is the princess Diana and this is a shawl collar button front either play suit or dress this is a really fun cute almost sailorish type of looking play suit or dress I think it's really really unusual I haven't seen much like this I think you're gonna love that one the Cleopatra has taken a bit of inspiration from Cleopatra's dresses with that beautiful sort of bound neckline and they've used the pleating um, pleat style dress for that I think it looks really stunning the way they've styled it and I think this would be a beautiful simple style dress the last one in the series is the Cinderella dress and it's just a beautiful tunic style sleeveless dress or sleeve with a lovely uh, deep v-neck as well and you can wear it belted or just loose and tunicky so I love the inspiration definitely head over to Iron Patterns website and see how she's got her inspiration and what she's taking from each of those princesses to add into her designs I think it's really fun and unique and I haven't seen anyone else do anything quite like this uh, having this theme and she's actually chosen all these around the princesses because of the whole terrible year everyone's had with lockdown about how we've all been trapped in our towers and haven't been able to socialize and see everybody um, just so we see what's important in life and yeah just a little story she's done around I think it's really fantastic and really fun to get um, some a little bit of inspiration into our sewing there now who doesn't love the new Friday pattern company dress the Davenport dress it can be made in a blouse as well as a dress it's really fun and pretty and kind of quirky as always with Friday pattern company size range is great extra small to 7xl and they've also donate five percent of profits to one of their chosen charities which is fantastic now the Devonport Davenport dress has got a beautiful elasticated neckline with the gathers it's got the little frill on each shoulder you can either have it with a tie or not the tie and the skirt itself has got a beautiful little ruffle on the end of it I think this will look really pretty in maybe something like a double gauze or like a floaty linen a crinkled fabric maybe but something fun and uh, maybe a gingham check would look really pretty in that as well another new skirt from Starlike is the Lennox woven skirt now Starlike patterns come from sizes 4 to size 30 it's a lovely long straight style skirt with a button front and would look beautiful at any type of woven fabric 
great for all seasons as well. Uh, I do love Starlikes. Um, the patterns are really, really lovely to wear and a beautiful shape. I love, always have great success sewing them. Definitely go and check out Starlark for that one. Tilly the buttons, of course, have come out with the well-known Lyra dress by now. I'm pretty sure you've all seen the Lyra dress. Uh, I love Tamlin on the Sun of the Times version over on her Instagram. Go and check out her beautiful Lyra dress in that gorgeous uh, safari print fabric that she's chosen, just complemented it beautifully. Lyra dress comes from sizes six up to size 34, and you can do it in different sleeve lengths, different lengths as well. If you want to add that tier on the bottom, I just think it adds that sort of notch up. It really elevates the dress to be something special. Or if you want to make it more of a basic shirt style dress, you can do that as well. So really keen to see a lot of these made up. The tilling the buttons patterns are always very popular patterns. And I think this Lyra dress is definitely one to add to your collection. Fantastic skirt has been released by True Bias and Kelly's released the Maeve skirt. Now I really really love a good long line boho skirt especially when it's got those tears and ruffles but the thing I like most about this is that it comes with an optional lining because you know when you find that beautiful sheer maybe chiffon fabric to make a tiered ruffled skirt and then you have to go to the trouble of making a lining for it well she's put all that in there for you I just think it's a fantastic looking uh, gorgeous skirt for maybe for all seasons but especially for you guys heading into summer. Maeve skirt sizes 0 to 18 or 14 to 30 so great size range and yeah thinking of maybe a beautiful as I say double gauze or a crinkly cotton would look really special in this but definitely one of those classic style skirts to have in your pattern collection. Now I have mentioned in a previous episode too about the new pattern union dress the Edith Smock. I've actually just read Sarah has sent out to all of her email subscribers if you haven't subscribed to her newsletter I suggest you go and do that because she's written a story about what has inspired her uh, the inspiration behind the whole Edith smock and who Edith is so I highly suggest you go and read that and if you haven't subscribed to her newsletter you want to know a little bit of history behind where she got this idea from definitely check it out it's a beautiful uh, smock style dress and you can either do the smocking or you can do some embroidery she also has given you templates for all the embroidery to do on the belt if you really want to get your teeth stuck into something like intricate like embroidery this could be a great first project for you to tackle the Edith smock is also a zero waste dress and a lot of pattern companies are coming up with zero waste options so that we don't waste any of our fabric and I know the latest episode on I love to sew has talked all about uh, what to do with those scraps and zero waste patterns and how great they can be to just make sure you use up every scrap of fabric so I really love this pattern and I have got it ready I'm going to print it out and make one myself uh, yeah, as soon as I can I'm really excited about it too sizes 6 to 26 Cashmere Red have come out with a brand new blazer called the Auburn Blazer. Now we all love Cashmere Red patterns. Cashmere Red patterns come from sizes 12 up to size 32 and the great thing about them is they do have more inclusive bust sizes. So the bust sizes are from a size C to size H so really great uh, inclusivity there because bust sizes can be a real challenge especially for things like blazers and fitted coats and jackets. So the thing I love about this Auburn Blazer is the beautiful princess seam details that she's got running down the front there so you can do a cropped version with a little button or the li little bit longer version's got beautiful welt angle pockets so something a bit more unique and special if you're wanting to do a beautiful woolen coat maybe a lined coat this could be the pattern you've been looking for next on the list we have the sewing revival of course favorite pattern company of mine i've just made the hair and blouse and love that they've got two brand new release patterns Firstly, we've got the Dunedin dungarees. Now, these dungarees are for all seasons. She's made them specifically with all types of wovens in mind. You can either do them in cool season or warmer seasons. So warmer season, things like linens and cottons. Uh, for winter, she's put down things like corduroys and flannels and wools, things like that, just to keep you a bit cozier. You've got two uh, back strap options, a straight strap or the flared strap. There are five different pocket options. It's a fantastic looking casual pair of dungarees I think they're the most practical thing you can own because you can layer them with the layering of course she's come out with a brand new top the undercover top is specifically made to be layered. There's a couple of different sleeve options. There's two different neck options. Uh, both of these patterns come sold as a bundle or a separate. So I think with the bundle pack, you can get 25% off when you buy them together and then you can wear them together. Size range is extra small to extra large. And as always with sewing revival patterns, you get fantastic instructions there to guide you along. 
The thing I like best about the dungarees is they are made for confident beginners in mind. So a lot of these type of dung dungaree patterns that can be quite involved. If you're wanting to tackle something a little bit more technical than normal, don't be afraid of these because they look fantastic, but they are made especially with beginners in mind. So those patterns are linked below. I do also have affiliate links for the sewing revival patterns. The next release is a add-on hack to the By Hand London Leo Dungarees. Now the Leo Dungarees were a really popular pattern release last month. They've just come out recently with the dress expansion. So you can make a beautiful uh, floaty pinafore style dress in that particular bib style top. So I think that's a really great idea for an add-on pattern. And especially for Mother's Day, Sew to Grow patterns have come out with a beautiful limited edition sewing box. I'm going to put some pics up here. And I know Lindsay Ray has said that they do sell out very, very fast, as well as all the goodies that you get included in this box. Uh, there's also a pattern to make your own um, robe style dressing gowns. So I think that's a really great idea uh, and a great uh, suggestion for Mother's Day for anyone out there looking for a present for their mum or maybe just to spoil themselves. So if you're wanting to get your hands on one of these uh, limited edition box from Sew to Grow patterns you've got to get in quick. That's me I'm done I've gotten through all of these patterns and I hope there's some new ones there that you haven't heard of I really hope you're going to have a look at them I will list all the patterns below that way you guys can go and click on and have a look and don't forget to subscribe to those newsletters to get those free patterns that I've mentioned as well it's really it's a really great way of um, keeping up to date with any new patterns released as well from different pattern companies and I'm sure there'll be more released usually there's always one release the day after I release a new pattern episode but you know what I'll add that on to the next Friday so it's just to keep you updated so I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you've got a bit of story Joe there happening a bit of inspiration from these patterns so keep safe and keep sewing and if you like this episode don't forget to give it a thumbs up and we'll see you soon bye for now